Hey guys, my name is Nalagoni Omkar, currently working as a lead data scientist in IT industry. Also, I am a lead data science trainer in Naresh IT. Tell me one thing, what is the currently ongoing buzzword in AI industry? Please comment it. Okay. Yes, the currently ongoing buzzword is generative AI and LLM. Okay, Langchain, okay, Rack, Chat GPT, Google Gemini AI, many things are there. Now, in this, I'm conducting a session now how to become a generative AI engineer with to developing the good customer use cases with less code and more flexibility. So now today I will give the definitions and terminologies in the generative AI things. So I will give the clear roadmap by starting is the definitions. The first definition is what is generative AI? So generative AI is a class of the artificial intelligence and it can generate text, video, audio, music as well as arts also. Suppose for example, we want to write an article on Virat Kohli. So tell me the essay about the Virat Kohli or asking to the generative AI tool. It will give the all the Virat Kohli essays. And suppose if you want to send an email to your manager and you can ask that also to the generative AI. What not? You can do many things with the, using the generative AI. So here the first definition is what is generative AI? Like I am telling again, generative AI is the class of the artificial intelligence which generates text data, image data, audio data as well as video and arts also and which is the data already trained on the similar type of the data. So if you want to know about Virat Kohli SS, first of all you need to train about the Virat Kohli, Virat Kohli data. You need to train the generative AI model on the Virat Kohli data. So if you want to write an email to the, your manager, first you want to train about the how to write the email, how to write the email, yes. So now the next definition is called LLM, which is called large language models. We already know that generative AI will give the generate the text data, image data, video data and audio data, but large language models are specifically works on only the text data. So, which is called NLP problems, that is natural language problems, natural language process, which is generate only the text data and it is trained on the models called transformers model and that is called GPT models. And you know, for example, you are using the chart GPT very, very frequently. So, chart GPT is a tool of the generative AI tool which is collaborated with Microsoft plus OpenAI. Similarly, all big companies like Microsoft or Google or Amazon, they are spending a lot of money as they are trying to generate the some tools about the generative AI tools. Google is generating the Google Gemini AI, Microsoft and OpenAI generate the chart GPT models and Amazon is generating the Q model, Amazon Q. So, it's all is about the generative AI tools only. Now, the how to talk with the generative AI tools? That is the next question and that is called prompt engineering. Suppose a student wants to ask a doubt to the teacher. What is it called? Student is asking a question to the teacher. That means human is talking with human in the form of questions and answers. Now, a human is talking with a mission. It is called prompting. So here question and here prompting both are same, but we are called is called prompt because a human is talking with machine. So into, while you are talking the questions, you require something a prescribed manner of writing. No, yes. What is the context? What is the specifications? And what is the literature? Everything is important. That's why a new jobs are created is called prompt engineering jobs. Prompt engineering jobs are is is talking to the AI machines in order to generate the desired outputs and that is sentences we are called prompts that is called prompt engineering now while you are asking the question to the AI model you can ask direct questions or you can give some examples also so whenever you are asking the direct questions is called that is the exam scope zero shot so, for example, I, the task is called machine translation, which means translate one language word to another language word. That is the task. Now, I am asking directly to the chat GPT. So, tell me about that. A English word is called, hi, how are you? How can I convert into Hindi language? Then, what is the answer is called? Kaise Simple. 
that is called a simple plain text now i am asking the same question to the chat gpt model i want to ask a english language in the language and i will give an example show also how an english language will be there how a hindi language will be there now i am giving one example suppose aap kidhar hai is a english word okay where are you is a english word so if i give the where are you means you need to mention that aap kidhar hai that is the example i am mentioning to the chat gpt model that is called one shot suppose you are mentioning the two examples and that is become few shot so whenever you are doing prompting you can give the zero shot which means no examples you can give one shot which means one example or you can give more than one example and that is called few shot and stay tuned for next updates thank you thank you so much